hey guys welcome back to my channel this is mysteriously divine how are you guys doing on this fine sunday i hope you all are doing well you're blessed you're happy you're spending time with family with your children you're resting tomorrow's monday i hope you guys are doing great um so today i have a particular message i actually made a short story about this on my personal instagram account and that's why i want to talk about this a little further so i decided to make this video for my youtube family so what I posted on my IG was basically speaking about why is it that it seems like evil people or evildoers always get away with the evil things they do? Or why does it seem like evil's always winning? Like evil always has like an upper hand, you know, over good. Although it may seem that way, guys, it isn't necessarily that way. Um, and what I feel is that the majority of human beings, we tend to look at things from a very physical perspective. So when you look at things from a very physical perspective, it will seem as if evil is winning. You know what I'm saying? It does seem like they have the upper hand, but it isn't like that at a deeper level, at a more profound level. It definitely is not the case. One of the reasons why it seems like evil people are always winning is because evil people are consistent. And that's exactly what I spoke about in that story. Evil people are very consistent. When they are going to do something evil, they will do whatever it takes. They will keep trying. They will keep pushing. Regardless of what their outcome is going to be, regardless of what the consequences for whatever they're doing, they are going to be consistent at it. Okay? If they want to get someone fired from work, they're going to be consistent in trying to get that, you know, to happen. And if they don't care if it takes them years to accomplish their goals. They are consistent when it comes to their evil doings, right? So this is one of the reasons why it seems like evil people win because one thing good people have is that most good-hearted people are not consistent. We tend to be very lazy. When it's time to get on our knees to pray, when it's time to put our faith at 100% and keep pushing with our faith, regardless of how dark it may look outside, we give up. We get intimidated. We get afraid. We say, that I'm not going to win. We start to get negative. And this is why a lot of the times, a lot of good people end up either in difficult predicaments or just end up giving up and just losing their faith. And this causes things to fall apart. This is the number one reason why it seems like evil people win. We see this in movies. We see this in Hollywood all the time. They are consistent. If they have to wake up at 3 in the morning to curse someone, trust and believe they're going to wake up at 3 in the morning on the dot every single day for as long as they have to, as long as they see the results they want. What do good people do? We wake up at 3 in the morning, 3 weeks straight, we, we wake up scared, we wake up tired, we wake up feeling anxious, depressed, and we don't get up and pray. We don't fight. We don't get up and, and do a cleanse. Burn some, some sage, burn something, do something about it. We just sit there and, oh, I'm tired, I'm sleepy, I'm not going to get up. You know, I'm just going to think happy thoughts and go back to sleep. Then when things start falling apart in your life, then you want to say, what happened? I don't understand. Well, you were getting signs. I'm sure you were getting signs and symptoms to get up and fight. Because we have intuitions for a reason. We have vibrations and feelings for a reason. We tend to feel these things that we just decide we're not going to do anything about it. If you want to win. If you want good to win, we have to be very consistent when it comes to fighting back. We are in a spiritual warfare, okay? This is a spiritual warfare that we're going through right now. And a lot of people, even people who are non-believers, who don't believe in spirituality, who are not religious, are feeling the energy because we're energetic beings. We're humans. We're not just a piece of meat walking around. We're spirits in a body. So we are going to feel this energy regardless if you have faith or not. And right now we're in the middle of a war. So you have to put as much energy as these evildoers are do putting in. You want good to win? You have to pray. Pray in the morning. Pray before bed. Get on your knees and ask the Most High Creator to help you. Whatever your faith is. This is, this is not about specific faith or specific religion. It's our faith and our Most High Creator, our consciousness, that helps us. We have to pray. We have to fight. If you fast and fast. If you believe in, in spiritual cleansings and using herbs or using um, certain ingredients to cleanse, you do that. Whatever it is that you have to do in good faith and good light and positivity. Remember, keeping things high vibrational at all times. You have to be consistent. This isn't something that you're just going to do one day and then you're just going to say, I'm not doing this again for three months. And this is what good people tend to do. 
They're very inconsistent when it comes to things. Even religious people. Some people go to church and then they don't go to church for another three months. If you are a Christian and you are into church, if you're a Muslim, whatever you are, then you have to be 100% consistent in whatever it is that you're doing. If you're spiritual and you believe in herbs, if you believe in cleansings and you believe in, in the nature, then you have to be consistent in pushing through when it comes to these things. You have to do this weekly. If you believe in mopping your floors like me and, and we're spiritual people, then we have to be on top of our cleansings, on top of our meditations, on top of our prayers. If you're religious, then you do whatever your faith tells you to do, but you have to be consistent in the high vibration, in high light, in positivity, in order to fight against this negative energy that's consuming the earth, that's consuming humanity. Evil people are not going to rest. They will not rest. And I'm not even talking about just the, you know, the powers that, that, that be. But even in smaller scales, as in people around us that dislike us, people at work that dislike us, they don't stop. They continuously try and try and try until they don't get what they want, they don't stop. And this is the same energy we have to have when we fight back against these people, these energies and these powers. We have to fight. No negativity, no rest. It doesn't matter how dark it gets. Actually, matter of fact, if it gets dark, that's when we have to go harder and harder and harder and harder to fight because good will always trump hate. Love will always trump hate. Good will always win. Always. Don't ever doubt in the power of good and the power of the most high. The problem is that people give up right before they reach that level that they need to be reaching. People tend to give up right before they win. You can't give up. This is nonstop. As human beings, we're always going to come across jealousy. We're always going to come across haters. We're always going to come across evil. And we have to continue this fight for as long as we live. And I know that sounds tiring, but unless you want to be happy... If you want to live in peace, then you have to fight for that happiness and that peace. It's not always going to fall on your lap. And if it does, you have to fight and conserve it for as long as God sees right. So I hope this message helps you guys. I hope you guys take this message and fight. If you're feeling tired, if you're feeling weary, if you're going through things, this is the time to fight. This is the time to get that faith, that strength out of your gut and fight for what you want. Fight for your peace. Fight for love. Fight for positivity. Fight for your finances, for your family members, for yourself. Fight for peace. This is the time to get up and fight, and this is the message that you needed to hear. Then listen to this message and fight. Evil will only beat you if you let it win. And we're spiritual warriors. We need to fight. I hope you guys have a great rest of your Sunday. Have an amazing day full of blessings, happiness, peace. I wish you guys happiness. I wish you the best. Please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Help, help my channel grow, guys. Comment, push this video, share this video, do whatever you need to do. But just help me out. I love you guys, and I'll see you guys on the next video. Bye.